Now, risk factors of breast carcinoma. Alcohol, late pregnancy, late menopause, and early mean arc. They are all included in the um, risk factors. So, solving PGA papers is almost like uh, doing a quick review revision of most of the high yield topics indirectly. Hmm? Because 5 5 points are there, at least 3 4 are correct out of that. So, 5000 questions of last 10 years ka 20 papers katam kare to kya ho jata? Uh, 20 papers have got 5000 questions, 5000 into at least 2 3 facts. So, almost 12 to 15,000 commonly tested facts are khatam, right? So, craniofacial surgery, typically some complications which can develop out of it, sudden death, convulsions, there can be a CSF leak, craniofacial, na? meningeal, meningitis can occur, not encephalitis, but meningitis can occur, there are the known complications. Now, doctor, what are the different types of neck masses is a common question in the exam. You have some structures which are called midline. Then you have some structures in the anterior triangle of the neck. Some are there in the posterior triangle of the neck. Accordingly, you must know brachialis, pharyngeal pouches, thyroid lobe swelling and submandibular lymph node pathology any lymphadenopathy, parotid gland swelling, laryngoseal, they are all presenting in the anterior triangle of the neck, not mediastinum, anterior triangle. Then any carotid artery aneurysm or carotid body tumor, potato tumor it is called, any cystic hygroma or any cervical rib or tortical list, they all can present like a swelling in the posterior triangle of the neck. Similarly, you are having thyroglossal cyst, laryngeal swelling, etc., which are basically in the midline. So, this list, since it is asked in PGI, has a vulnerability to reappear in the any other PG. Huh? Then, uh, arterial versus venous ulcers. Very traditional MCQ in the MD entrance exam, doctor. Arterial ulcers, where will you see? Toes, classically. You have seen that smoker, Viraya, Ramaya, huh? who smoked, smoked, smoked all BDs, developed a peripheral vascular disease, thrombangitis, obliterance, and where was the ulcer? Ulcer was in the leg, toes. It will be painful. And uh, since arterial ulcer is a consequence of ischemia, there is a development of claudication which can accompany it and rest pain can be there in the foot. And the margin of the ulcer is sharply demarcated and punched out. And the base is devoid of any healthy granulation tissue. And the surrounding skin is typically pale and mottled due to decreased arterial blood flow. And uh, signs of chronic ischemia are classically present. Whereas venous ulcers, there is a pigmentation of the limb, lipodermatosclerosis is what is found. So, there is a thickening, pigmentation, inflammation, induration of the calf skin whenever there is a venous ulcer. And what is that pigmentation due to? Hemosiderin and melanin is what you need to basically remember. And classically, where will you look for the presence of uh, these uh, ulcers, venous ulcers? Gaiter's area. That is between the muscles of the calf and ankle, middle aspect. That is the typical location where the perforators of the posterior tibial vein are located. That is the reason the gaiter area, the point of junction between the ankle and the calf is the classical location is what you need to basically remember. So, it is the medial side of the calf. Kessel back merit syndrome. There is a huge hemangioma in which all platelets are sequestered and that leads to development of thrombocytopenia. So, large hemangioma, thrombocytopenia, hypofibrinogenemia, even there is a sequestration ke vajay se, there is a consumptive coagulopathy which will occur. And there is also microangiopathic hemolysis when the um, 
uh, RBCs are being slaughtered inside such a uh, huge uh, uh, hemangioma. But there will be no massive spread. Megali is what you need to basically appreciate. Right colon versus left colon ke malignancy may, what is the difference? Right side may iron deficiency, anemia, abdominal mass is a presenting feature. Right side hota hai cecal malignancy or ascending colon. Left side may rectal bleeding, alteration in the bubble habit, tenismus, obstruction symptoms will be born on the left side. But what is the confusing fact when you go for exam? Since rectal bleeding is on the left side, bleeding should lead to iron deficiency anemia and we expect iron deficiency more common on the left side. Only that confusion, Nikal Dena, Dimaksi. Iron deficiency anemia hota hai right side mein, mother uh, rectal bleeding is a feature of the left side. That is what you need to ultimately remember. One question on thyroid carcinoma is a favorite topic of the examiner doctor. So basically, medulla the arise from the parafollicular cell. Amyloid deposit will be there. Secrete calcitonin is the nature of medullary. But orphan anionide cells and samoma bodies are papillary is what you have to ultimately remember. Questions will be simple. Eh? So, uh, maximum examiner recent times mein kya kiya? Regularly orphan anionide, orphan anionide bole to koi bhi humko nahi sun, sun rahe. Eh? So, ek orphan anionide ko Suchmuch histology may be dating a bache recognize karega ya nahi karega. You will recognize because if a histology slide is given and the question is thyroid, only two possible histological slides could be Samoma body or Arfanani. You are all uh, experts, no doctor. Huh? So uh, that's what you need to basically remember. Now comes the <coughs> Um, acute appendicitis. Ultrasound is the one which is used to make the diagnosis generally. Don't call for CT scan. Fecolic can lead to it and you will treat it by doing appendicectomy. They are all the true statements. How will the pain migrate? Periumbilically it will start and it will go to right uh, iliac fossa, not right iliac fossa to very umbilical. Simple questions. Huh? Then one more important thing. Anorexia is the most consistent clinical symptom of appendicitis. Other patient bole ki mujhe bhook lag raha hai, wo appendicitis nahi hoga. So there is a dictum which you should not forget. Right? Patient should not say, I am hungry. If it is hungry, then it is unlikely to be appendicitis is what you need to basically remember. Huh? Then, uh, but uh, don't carry some uh, very favorite eatables and keep asking the patient in the casualty, are you feeling hungry? Huh? Because please say you are feeling hungry, I can go to the reading room and study. Otherwise, if you are acute appendicitis means uh, I need to call surgeon, I need to arrange for everything. Uh, I need to get uh, you well shaved for the surgery and barber also is not coming because today is Christmas. I only have to shave the skin. Yes, I Don't give work. Karna padega, jara bolo. So, don't tell as a house surgeon in the casualty. Hmm? Nausea and vomiting. Occur in about 50 to 60 percent, but vomiting is self-limited is what you need to basically remember.